Now, sometimes movies get new titles after originally being titled years ago, and this movie, The Cursed, used to be called Eight for Silver, and I don't know about y'all, but uh, that one sounds much cooler. What's going on you guys, James here with another real review and today I'm so excited to get into my spoiler free thoughts on The Curse. A huge thank you to LD Entertainment for giving me the chance to watch this early for review. Now this movie did debut I believe at the 2021 Sundance Film Festival so it's been a little while but finally it hits theaters this weekend. It's directed by Sean Ellis and it stars Boyd Holbrook, Kelly Riley, All-Star Petrie, and Amelia Crouch. Now the movie is not too complicated to understand even though the story is a little weird in the beginning but before we get into what I liked and what I didn't like too much about this movie, if it is your first time here at the channel, welcome to Real James where I love talking about movies just like this. So if you do too, go ahead and hit the big red button below for more reviews and tap on that bell because we got the Batman coming up next week and so many more goodies as the year goes on. And hey, get loud down below in the comments and let me know when you see this movie, what did you think about this one, y'all? Because The Cursed... Well, there are some things that work here, but hey, let's get into the story just a little bit so you can kind of get some context as to what this movie is about. So the movie plays with time a little bit. It opens with the war in 1917 and then flashes us back to give us some context as to why this man who was being operated on now has a silver bullet in him. So this is a different take on a werewolf story that involves gypsies and people that kill these gypsies and then the land is cursed, so hence the title of The Cursed. So yes, everything in this movie is happening 35 years earlier than that opening intro. So let's get into the positives about this film. And honestly, I was looking for a unique horror movie and I kind of got that here. Even though I have some issues with the story and we'll talk about that later, the writing and the directing, I do think that on the premise, the foundation of this movie is different and for that I have to give it some props. It could have gone super cheesy werewolf story that we've seen before, but it decided to take a different approach and it was incredibly atmospheric. At times, this reminded me of an A24 horror movie with the way that it was shot, how it looked. I thought the cinematography at times was actually really darn good and I do like the score even though I feel like the score gets a little bit worse as we go along. In, in the beginning, the score was so eerie. And of course this movie just doesn't hold back. So if you're looking for a gruesome time, well the curse is right up your alley. You have limbs that are being chopped right in front of you, crunching noises, blood galore. This movie is really, really graphic and even there were moments where I had to turn my head from the screen and that's doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's because, well, it's pretty brutal what we're seeing on screen. And when it comes to the scare factor, I thought that there were some really creepy imagery played with here too. There's a scarecrow, there's someone that's dead buried underneath the ground. It can get a little freaky. And I mean, there's some nightmare sequences where we get the majority of our jump scares, but I thought that, man, it was kind of effective because it gave me, you know, that goosebump feeling. And I thought it was going to really lean into that, but it does, of course, go the werewolf route. And we were getting practical and then we got some CGI. So we'll talk about that later. But I thought that when it came to the effects themselves, when they were leaning heavily into the practical effects of it all, I actually really love that. Now it's not all about the technical aspects here, I do want to dive into some of the performances that I thought were pretty good, and that starts with Amelia Crouch as Charlotte. Honestly, she gave the best performance in the film. It was nuanced, I thought it was really dynamic, and you can tell that her character was getting some sort of an arc. Now when they do introduce Boyd Holbrook's character, he's playing a pathologist if I'm not mistaken. He's brought in to help them figure out what the heck is happening to the land, why this family's being cursed with all these nightmares. And well, they find out some, well, pretty dark secrets about this family, but not to spoil anything, I will say that Boyd Holbrook's performance is not bad. I just think the writing for his character is a little one dimensional. But again, not only do I think Amelia Crouch is the absolute standout here, I just think that she's the only one to me that naturally gives a great performance. So we got some creepy imagery, an atmospheric vibe to this movie, a good performance here and there, but what about this movie didn't really resonate with me? Now, it's not that I think this movie is bad, I just don't think The Cursed, for me, really executes the vision all the way through. Director Sean Ellis plays, like I mentioned earlier, with time, and in the beginning of the film, the story is really clunky. The way that they structure the plot is different, yes, but I just don't know if it's different in a good way. Quite frankly, I was a little confused in the beginning of the movie and I don't think that is actually the intention of the film it's just the way they set up the story it's really jumbled eventually I started putting the pieces together but I just think it took a little bit too much time for the story to really click and I was hoping that we would get out of the gates a little bit quicker than that because the movie does have some stuff to offer in that third act I just think by then I was 
I'm a little exhausted. But outside of the direction, I think the writing is also a little bland. The conversations between Boyd Holbrook and the other cast members just, it never was convincing enough for me. And the decisions that some of these characters made, yes, I guess they made sense in the moment, but then there were some decisions in that final home stretch where I thought this is dumb. Why would they even do this? And it did distract a little bit from what the story was trying to tell. So I didn't really care for the writing too much. And I would say that maybe the script could have used a little bit of a rewrite. And while the second half is much better, I would say there are some things visually that I thought were a little weird. They went away from the whole prosthetics approach, the more practical effects of it all. And they kind of dove into CGI, which didn't look too good for the werewolf, but also um, I don't know why they gave us this first person view and there was a lot of shaky cam that was used so it made me not only kind of sick but also it didn't look good. There were so many cuts and honestly that camera effect was really distracting. Now when it comes to yes the second half being better I also think you start to feel the length towards the end there. That third act felt like it would never end and it ends on a note honestly that didn't really shock me so I think that was the, I would say that was the reason they showed that final shot was to say, oh, let's blow your mind, but it didn't really do that for me. So I think that the movie by the end didn't really earn all of that staying power that it was trying to build up to. So overall, you guys, The Cursed is a movie that I think if you watch it, you won't be terribly upset with it, but I do think that there's a lot of good premise here, there's just not great execution. The story is messy, and I think the structure of the plot is a bit janky. I also don't think the performances were great, there's only one that I can tell you that was really good, which is Amelia Crouch, and while this movie does play with some cool shots, and I think that the framing of certain shots is really nice, there are also decisions outside of that that made me scratch my head, which is these crazy cuts, the editing in that department was not strong. So The Cursed really could have been much better than it was. It's not entirely bad. I just think it is unfortunately a little bit forgettable. And also maybe it's too late, but I'm petitioning for the title to go back to 8 for Silver. It's just much cooler. So there you have it, you guys. That's my real review of The Cursed. Again, it hits theaters this weekend. So when you see it, go ahead and get loud down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of the film. And hey, if you haven't already, hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, and tap on that bell, y'all, because it is about to be really busy over here at the channel, and I can't wait to just see and talk about all these movies with each and every one of you. Alrighty, y'all. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening. And I am not going to mess with uh, any gypsies, and um, no werewolves, and nope, not in this house.